Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Logan with Freedom's Door, and I, I just really want to introduce somebody really special to my heart and soul. I, I mean, she, she's been with me through thick and thin, no matter how many fights we have, she, uh, we always apologize. <coughs> anyway, this is my uh, pride and joy, Charlene. Now, uh, let's see here. Charlene is, uh, I bought her about two years ago at a local gun shop called the Gun Cellar, which it ain't open anymore. Thank you, Tactical Firearms. <laughs> anyway, fuck Tactical Firearms. Uh, I'm sorry. It, it's filled with nothing but know it alls who just want to push, like, the most expensive guns on people when really what they need is just something simple. Anyway, back to uh, back to what I was saying. I bought this two years ago when SKS I love it. I love it. I love it. It it was my first rifle that I ever bought. <laughs> it was it. I mean, it's it's my everything, really. I uh, I've uh, let's see here. When I first bought her, she. Um, she still had the standard wooden stock and all that and, um, I, I just remember my uncle <coughs> he had one fixed with a uh, more modern stock what not a I believe it was uh, like an ATI fold out this one of course it's got like the AR-15 tel uh, telescopic butt stock but uh, I see my uncle do that to his and I was just really envious and so I went out sorry I went out to uh, to tactical firearms asked them uh, you know where where's uh can y'all order order uh, products from Tapco for me and they wouldn't do it so I eventually just said to hell with it if you want to do something right do it yourself <laughs> you know that's a anyway <coughs> I spent about spent about 80 bucks on this stock and it was kind of a kind of a bummer too because back when I first had her she she had a bayonet but uh, one day I, I just decided to do a charge <laughs> do a charge at a pumpkin with bayonet fixed and when I did the bayonet went all the way through into the ground and just screwed it up like I think I hit a rock or something that was buried <coughs> anyway uh, that happened so now I'm stuck with this but one thing I found out that's pretty cool about the bayonet groove even if you don't have a bayonet if you got some uh, tape and a decent flashlight BAM <laughs> it, it works it works charms too man but um you, you may also notice the 20 round Tapco clip I've been I've been hearing a lot of people talk smack about them which most of those people I guess are just people who don't want to put a little elbow grease into their into their rifles and firearms but uh, I did I did have some feeding trouble right out of the box but one quick way to remedy that is to take off the spring cover and just stretch the spring out a little bit. It'll give it more tension. Like any common sense person would think should know. <laughs> anyway, and um, I ended up I ended up uh, getting two of the clips because I mean, oh, if I'm gonna have one clip, I'm gonna have another. I'm, I'll really want another because it's a lot easier just to bam bam instead of you know sitting there with a stripper clip Duh. anyway <coughs> I ended up uh, I actually didn't pay for oh, it's this one I didn't pay for this one it was given to me uh, during Christmas and uh, my buddy he, he was walking around he, he had just bought a Springfield uh, M1A the M14 remake I guess you could call it <laughs> well that's what I call it but um, 
anyway, he, he went out, found, uh, got him two 20 round magazines for it. And through, through serendipity, turns out, uh, Academy at the time were selling these for very, very cheap. Selling these clips. Sorry, magazines. <coughs> uh, mainstream media is fucking with my head what can i say <laughs> anyway these magazines were really really cheap at academy because it was during the holidays you know and so i ended up getting one and i, I had to brag about it because ever since i had bought it like two years ago i i, I just fantasize about throwing a, a 20 or 30 round clip on it and <coughs> Oh yeah, it is, it is beautiful, it, it actually gives it much stability, and the weight on it ever since I, I took off the, uh, the still, still fixed magazine, it, the weight had to at least drop by a few ounces, and I can pick this gun up with my pinky finger now, because of all the composites. <laughs> you may also, uh, you may also know, notice, uh, gee, Logan, why did you keep the original heat guard on there? Well, the heat guard, uh, when I was putting in the stock, I was looking at the heat, heat guard, and it's supposed to have two little pins on the side of it when you remove, when you remove the gas tube. But, um, yeah, whoever, I, I Narenko just, like, freaking superman them into, into the fucking gas tube like that's all i gotta say so i wasn't able to get it out without bending the gas tube which i don't really want to do so sooner or later i'm going on tapco.com and they sell sks gas tubes already with the picatinny rail system and all that and i'm also uh i'm not really too like i love the chinese sks it it is one of one of the most reliable if if not more reliable than the AK <coughs> and sorry AK sorry AK lovers I mean uh, I understand your obsession but the 40 the AK47 has just become diluted honestly but anyway this thing uh, I dropped it in mud I dropped it in water I put sand in the chamber, and it still shot. <coughs> Anywho, it it still shot, and another another great thing that I love about this rifle, and this cracks me up, is whenever I'm at a shooting range, just like shooting at targets, and I get like a golf ball formation at a hundred yards away. And all the AR-15 owners get pissed off when I tell them that the total investment on this gun is $300. And their, uh, their DPMS and their Smith & Wesson M MPs, MMPs, they, they cost like an arm and a left nut. <laughs> but, yeah. So anyway, this is Charlene. And uh, she'll be coming to a shit hits the fan scenario near you soon. You know. Anyway, this is uh this is Logan Kane. Thank you for watching Freedom's Door. Uh, subscribe. Do me a favor, please hit the like button. You guys, guys rock. Uh, if you got any bad comments, leave them to yourself. Cause honestly, I don't really give a damn, and I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of you know answering your stupid insults. Well, anyway, peace.